staring blank and can't think of content ideas? Here's my promise to you. After watching this video, you will never run out of content ideas ever again. Let's go. Hey, it's Jack from RankMath, the one tool that brings you easy to use SEO and AI tools. And this channel is all about helping you grow your search traffic. So if you're new to us, subscribe. Now I'm going to share with you some ideas and tools to generate content ideas, starting with this. I'm not sure if you have used this tool before, but I find it incredibly useful. This is the link, contentideas.io. Simply search for your niche, say SEO, and the tool will curate a list of contents from Facebook, Pinterest, and Reddit about or related to your search term that are most shared on those platforms. As you can see, these are the contents that have the most engagement on Facebook in the last 30 days, or you can switch these filters around to the last 180 days, and you want a content to be most shared across those platforms. And from here, you can get content ideas through these engaging articles. Feel free to switch it up to a more detailed keyword like page speed optimization, and you will see even more unique content that you can reference for more content ideas. Have you used this tool before? Let us know. If you run a WordPress website, you can generate lots of content ideas using RankMath's Content AI tools. As long as you have connected your site with a RankMath account and you have turned on the Content AI module, you will have access to the tools. There are many tools here, but the ones that can help you generate content ideas are the Blog Post Idea tool and the Topic Research tool. Let's start with the Blog Post Idea tool. Let's describe what your blog is about. Let's say that it is a dog food blog Feel free to change the audience and tone, but I'll just keep it as it is. The important element is the style of the idea. Do you want listicle ideas, like the 10 best dog food, tutorial ideas, review, case study, or whatever? Add multiple styles if it fits what you are looking for. Select your language, define how many content ideas you want to generate, let's say 20, and hit generate. In a couple of seconds, you will have many content ideas. And if you need more ideas than just dog food, feel free to amend your description and hit generate more. The other tool to generate content ideas is the topic research tool. Though the purpose of this tool is to help ease the research process of a topic, you can use it to generate ideas as well. Let's say that you want to generate ideas for your BBQ blog. You can describe what you want it to generate, such as blog post ideas for BBQ blog. You can play around with these relevance tabs or add a multiple of them. This is basically telling the AI that you want blog post ideas that are recent, historical, regional, comparative, etc. So let's say that I want specific and recent. And for the format, you would choose list. The others are not meant for ideas. And then we do not need a keyword. Select your audience and language. Choose the number of outputs and hit generate. And in a while, we will have a list of topic ideas related to your niche. How cool is that? Now, other than the two AI tools, you can chat with RankBot through this chat tab. It works similar to the chat bots you have probably used. As you can see, there is already a prompt template, such as list trending topics in industry that I should write about. If you want to use it, just click on it, and it will be added to the field. Or you can use prompts from the prompts library. You can explore these prompts on your own, but there are a couple of helpful prompts to generate content ideas, such as find secondary keywords, brainstorm keywords, topic ideas, and more. Let's say that we use the long tail keywords prompt. This is the prompt. Let's click use prompt. Let's replace this with a topic such as dog food. Hit send. And now we have many content ideas to work on. Good prompts are hard to come by. So in case you found a good prompt you would always use, you could save it as a template. For example, when we use the brainstorm keywords prompt, and you find that you always have to add something such as long tail here, or even if you have found a nice prompt elsewhere, you can save this template. Let's copy the prompt, click on prompts library, click on add custom prompt, give it a name, say generate long tail keywords, and paste the prompt here. Use brackets to insert placeholders, such as this. And as you save the prompt, you'll be able to find the prompt in the custom tab. So if you haven't tried Content AI as a RankMath user, we highly recommend doing so. 
Other than rank bots, you can use chatbots like ChatGPT, Claude, or Google Gemini to find content ideas. Let's put them side by side and ask the question, what are the commonly searched long tail keywords in the dog food niche? Let's copy this, send this, ask the same question here as well as from ChatGPT. And let's check it out. In a while, we'll have lots of content ideas, but I'm sure you can easily sieve them out. We can further amend the prompt, such as changing long tail keywords with five word keywords. Let's do the same for the rest. Give it a while. And here we go. We have many five word keywords that people commonly search for in the niche. You can also use prompts like what are some commonly asked questions about your topic that can be used to create engaging Q&A content? What are some newsworthy topics or events related to company or industry that can be used for PR or media outreach? Provide a list of blog title suggestions for topic or industry that will attract readers and generate traffic. So try some of the prompts and I'm pretty sure you'll find a ton of content ideas. If you have other prompts to share, Share them, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much. There are many keyword research tools around, so I'll just list some of them here, starting with Answer the Public. If you did not pay for the tool, you are limited to three searches per day. Simply choose the platform in which you create your content, select your target country, such as the United States, choose the language, and add your topic here, such as Pitbull Dog Food. As it loads, you will have content ideas distributed through several wheel graphs. If it is hard for you to see, you can always switch it to the list format, which I think is the best format, or the table format, which looks like this. Now, we are still limited to three searches per day, so let me introduce you to AnswerSocrates. AnswerSocrates.com has similar functions as Answer the Public, but it does not have any restrictions, at least for now. Similarly, let's add the same topic, Pitbull Dog Food. Select a country and hit search. In just a while, we will have queries from people also ask, question queries related to the keyword you have entered, prepositions, comparison content ideas, and all the ideas grouped alphabetically. That is such a neat tool. Now, other than the two keyword research tools, I find myself using the WordStream's free keyword research tool a lot. Let's do the same thing. Let's search for Pitbull Dog Food and let's research it. Now, this tool is incredibly useful for bloggers and video content creators who want to rank for particular keywords because it will produce lots of keywords with the same search intent. That way, when you create content around one of these topics, for example, if you create a blog post or a video about good dog food for pit bulls, you have the potential to rank for the rest of the keywords, such as best food for pit bulls, best dog food for pit bulls, top rated dog food for pit bulls. All these have the same search intent. This will show you the potential of targeting one of the keywords. You can analyze this list of keywords to find content ideas with different search intent, such as best diet for pit bull puppy, Maybe diet is more distinct because you're not just looking for a type of dog food, you're looking for a meal plan. I'm not sure. I'm not a dog person. I don't own a dog at home, but you tell me. Anyway, feel free to search for other keywords as well, and you can validate if there are search volume for your content ideas. These are three of the popular keyword research tools, and we have covered many in this video right here. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the description. If you have other free keyword research tools you often use, Share it with us, leave them in the comments. If you have a website and it is somewhat established, you can use tools like the Google Search Console and RankMap Analytics to find content ideas. On your Search Console, go to your Performance tab, and here are all the keywords your site is ranking for. If you are creating videos, then this serves as an indicator of how many people will be searching for these keywords based on the impressions. And if you are looking for content ideas for your blog, then since your site is already ranking for these keywords, you shouldn't target these keywords unless the search intent is different. For example, let's check out page-specific keywords instead of looking at the full list. Let's say that we want to find keywords related to air fryers. So these are all the keywords the page is ranking for. Most of these keywords have the same search intent. The intent of people searching for these keywords is that they are searching for non-toxic air fryers. 
So since you have already an article ranking for these keywords, you should not create another piece of content targeting this keyword, another piece of content targeting this keyword. Instead, you should be optimizing the same page for these keywords. However, for keywords that have a different search intent, for example this, Instant Pot Dual Crips versus Ninja Combi Multi Cooker, people searching for this keyword are looking for a comparison between these two products. So the page that is ranking for this keyword is not serving the search intent. So this is a new content idea for you. It makes sense to create a content about this topic because it is in demand. Alternatively, you can find content ideas directly from your WordPress site as well. If you have RankMath Pro installed, go to the Analytics module and under Keywords, you will see all the keywords your site is ranking for, similar to Google Search Console. And if you want page-specific keywords, then go to the SEO Performance tab. These are the performance metrics for each page on your site. Let's expand one of them, for example, this. And here are all the keywords the page is ranking for. You can find high-quality content ideas through the Analytics module. Now, let me share something with you. Google itself is an incredible tool to find content ideas. For example, if you are looking for content ideas related to the dog food niche, you could start with the keyword dog food or any other seed keyword related to your niche and go through the alphabet, such as space A, and these are the auto-suggest keywords that can be content ideas. And then B, you will see more content ideas, space C, D, etc all the way to Z. Now let's take it up a notch. Instead of just using C keywords, you can use this set of keyword placeholders to find high quality content ideas. Let me give you an example. Let's start with how to get star dog food. Okay, we have a list of keywords here which is good, but let's take it up another notch. Instead of just star, we can add the letters after it, such as star A. We can see how to get ants out of dog food, and these are very unique content ideas. Then star B, how to get birds to stop eating dog food. I believe all these are quite unique as well. How about star C, how to get cat to stop eating dog food. <laughs> so as you go through this method, you will find lots of content ideas. And if you create contents around these keywords, you're gonna get a lot of eyeballs to your contents because these are what people are searching for. And then once you are at the end of the letters, for example, now you are at Z, feel free to use another placeholder, such as best way to, then start with A again. You see, by using this technique, you will get a ton of content ideas. Don't you agree? If this technique of using keyword placeholders is something new to you, how about smashing the thumbs up? Anyway, when you explore a keyword, there are other Google tools like the people also ask section. Whereas you expand a keyword, several more related ideas will appear. Click on another and more ideas will appear. Keep doing that and you will have a ton of content ideas. And if the expanded ideas are not that relevant anymore, either search for another keyword or start scrolling up and clicking on other related keywords in the path and more related content ideas will start appearing. And then never forget about the people also search for section because it will provide you with keywords people are searching for related to the keyword you have searched for. Other than that, Google has its very own keyword research too called the Google Keyword Planner. You just need to sign up for a Google Ads account and you will have access to the Keyword Planner too. You don't even need to run an ad. Simply choose the Discover New Keywords option, either enter a C keyword such as dog food, select your audience location, remove or to select a worldwide audience, hit get results, and in a while you will have lots of content ideas. Or you can choose the other option which is start with a website. Possibly your competitor website such as supertales.com. Hit get results and you will have lots of content ideas as well. If you want a full tutorial on using the Google Keyword Planner to find content ideas, you can check out this video right here. The link is in the description. It doesn't matter if you are creating contents for your blog, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever, you can find content ideas using your competitor's audience. For example, one of the most prominent figures in SEO is probably New Patel. So we will go to his channel, sort the videos by the most popular, let's check out the most popular video, and go through the comments. 
We will sort the comments by the newest first because we want to find content ideas that are recent. Let's check it out. As we go through the comments, we will see what your competitor audiences are asking. For example, can you teach how to use Google Search Console? That could be a content idea. And then from this, we can draw conclusions to the content idea is backlinking still relevant. Let's scroll through a little more. Then for this, another content idea could be is exact match domain keywords still relevant? As you go through the comments, you will find lots of content ideas, especially when the audience is engaging in the comment section. Don't do this on just YouTube. Do this on other platforms as well, like Instagram, Pinterest, or whatever. What you will find are real world questions your audience will want answers to. And this is one of the best sources for content ideas. Anyway, other ways to find content ideas include visiting forums and Q&A sites like Quora and Reddit, read through the questions and responses people have related to topics of your niche, and I'm pretty sure you will find highly relevant content ideas from there. Another way to find content ideas is through adaptation of other niche or industry. For example, if you are in the dog food niche and there is a popular trend going on where fitness enthusiasts showcase their what I eat in a day type of content, you can use the same concept and apply it to your niche, such as what my dog eats in a day. And if there is a trend going on about meal preps, you will have content ideas about meal preps for dogs. There is no set rule to find content ideas. The key is to test things out and see if it works. Finally, pick up a book related to your niche or industry and start reading. I'm pretty sure you'll find a wealth of content ideas. Have I fulfilled my promise to you? Will you ever run out of content ideas ever again? do let me know in the comments. And if you have any other ways to find content ideas I have not mentioned, let us know as well. The Rank Left channel is all about helping you grow your search traffic. So if you haven't subscribed to us, do so. This is Jack from Rank Math. I'll see you in the next video.